Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be playing around with Evil Portal. Now, if you don't know what Evil Portal is, it's probably one of the most popular modules on the Wi-Fi Pineapple. But um, if you don't know what it is, it's basically kind of like almost like a DNS spoofer. It kind of like um, emulates different portals um, for your Wi-Fi router and such. Um, so when you try to connect to it, um, it will open up like some sort of web page asking you to log in to some sort of portal um, and we can capture those credentials with Wi-Fi Pineapple. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and discover how we run or how we can do this. Um, quickly, if this is your first time with the Wi-Fi Pineapple, I definitely suggest checking out um, our Wi-Fi Pineapple course on our website, um, cosmomcs.com slash courses. Um, there we have courses on the Wi-Fi Pineapple, Bash Bunny, USB Rubber Ducky, a bunch of other computer science and cybersecurity related things. So definitely check that out. But regardless, let's jump into the video. Um, you guys can see that I am on the Wi-Fi Pineapple page. Let me actually go down and uh, move my camera. Perfect. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, if you guys hit that news and updates button, it just kind of makes sure that or make sure that we are connected to the internet. So let's click that button, make sure that our Wi-Fi pineapple is connected to the internet and it is connected to the internet. Awesome, 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 awesome. What we're going to want to do is go to the modules and packages section of um, the Wi-Fi pineapple. It's that little puzzle piece button. Um, and then it'll take you to our modules and packages uh, section. Now we don't have any modules installed, but let's go ahead and install the Wi-Fi or the Evil Portal module. What we're going to do is hit that modules tab and hit get available modules. Um, now you'll see all the modules we can get. Feel free to play around with any of them, but the one that is um, interesting or pertaining to us today is the Evil Portal right there. So uh, we can go ahead and hit install and install it's a really quick install um not really quick but it's a fairly quick install that we don't have to worry about but what you do have to worry about is the dependencies now um i have installed this before so it shouldn't ask me to install the dependencies but if this is your first time installing it uh, make sure to install those dependencies it should only take about a minute maybe two minutes to install um but it should be fine now you can see it's connected my um uh, client that I already have connected to it, right? Um, make sure you have your rogue access point set up and start it up. Um, stop the web server. Uh, we just started the video. It's right trying to get ahead of us now. Um, so make sure you have your uh, rogue access point started up right in my Pineapple suite. I can go to access points and you can see that I have my open uh, access point set up for people to connect to. And my phone is currently connected to that free Wi Fi SSS ID. Um, so we can go back to our modules, back to Evil Portal, and get everything ready. Um, so I want to show you two different uh, like ways we can have the portal set up. First, I'll show you the basic default portal that's really boring, really lame. And then I'll show you some of the cooler portals that we have, um, like the ones that look like Google or Facebook or like Starbucks and stuff. Um, so people think that they're logging into those websites um, instead of um, you know some fake default page but to get the idea to your brains um, we're going to make a default portal first and kind of show you how it works um, we can do a basic portal the targeted portal can be used to target specific IDs and um, peoples and such but the basic portal will be fine um, this is going to be an example portal so we can just do example and hit done um, cool so what we can do is actually start up evil portal uh, you can see that it started up awesome 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 so if we hit activate uh, it's going to activate that default portal and this is what it's going to look like right um, when you go into the evil portal all right so on my phone we've connected to Eve, um, my rogue access point i can actually record my screen for you guys let's just go on the ip address of the router so 172.16.42.1 uh, and if we go to that it's going to ask us to authorize now i'm not going to click authorize um, because it, it already added me to the allow clients. But basically, when we go on the router's page, it's going to say um, this default evil portal, like the one that we have right here. Um, so that's cool, but that's not super useful other than like, you know, letting them know that we're using the evil portal, right? So now that we have um, this basic portal set up, let's go ahead and deactivate that one. It's pretty boring. You can delete it. Um, and let's get some of the cooler ones on our computer. So uh, you can click the link in the description to take you to this Evil Portals GitHub repository. And here they have some of the coolest um, portals that you could have, right? You can see uh, we have ones for Google, we have ones for uh, 
whoops. Oh, that takes you to a new tab, gotcha. So they have one for Google, they have one for uh, Starbucks, Twitter, Yahoo, Facebook, and uh, some de default like Wi-Fi actual login page, whatever. Um, that one has even a download thing. I think you can have like an APK if you want to get like um, some sort of MSF Venom payload for Androids or something like that. Uh, feel free to do that. But uh, we are going to focus on this. Um, we don't really need to worry about all this stuff. It's pretty straightforward on how to do it. Um, so what I'll do is we'll open up a new tor uh, terminal. And uh, go if you have a Wi-Fi Pineapple directory, I suggest going to it. I have my own Wi-Fi Pineapple directory for videos like this. Um, but feel free to uh, just do it in your home directory or whatever. So what we're going to do is get clone that directory. So we can do get clone. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys as well. Get clone. And then we're going to do HTTPS colon slash slash github.com slash Clio slash evil portals. All right. And if we hit that, it's going to download that repository to our um, directory. So we can see we have that evil portals right there. Um, so if we CD into our evil portals and list, you can see there's some portals there. So we can go into the portals. And if we list, we can see some of the cool ones we have. So there's the Instagram one, there's a Starbucks one, Twitter, Yahoo, Facebook, and the other ones we saw on the website. Um, for this example, I think I'm gonna just use Google because it's kind of like a easily, easy one that we can recognize. So first things first, we need to get this onto our Wi-Fi Pineapple. Now, if you didn't know, the Wi-Fi Pineapple has SSH, which means we can use SCP. So let's use SCP to get our um, Google logon thing to our uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple. Now, to kind of help you understand uh, with the Wi-Fi Pineapple, um, I'll quickly SSH into the Wi-Fi Pineapple to help you guys understand, right? So we'll do SSH and then we'll go into our root at, uh, was it 172.4 or .16.42.1, I believe. Yes, perfect. Now type in your password for the Wi-Fi Pineapple and now we'll have uh, SSH in, or we'll be SSH'd into our Wi-Fi Pineapple. So we can list and we can see there's this portals directory, which is specifically for our um, evil portal thingy or evil portal payload, right? So if I go out of my terminal and we'll go back into this one, let's go ahead and take our Google login directory and we'll put it onto the uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple. So we'll do um, root, which is our username at our Wi-Fi Pineapple IP address, which is 172.16.42.1. Um, and then we're going to specify the directory, which is the root directory, and then the portals directory, which is, which is within that root directory. Um, we can run that and type in the password for our Wi-Fi Pineapple. And there you go. It sent all that information to our Wi-Fi Pineapple. So if I go into our Wi-Fi Pineapple, uh, I can see the into portals. And if I list, you can see we have that Google login uh, portal right there. So let's go back to our, um, our evil portal, right? Now, if I just hit F5 and refresh the page, you'll see that we have our Google login right there. Perfect. Um, so let's go ahead and activate um, our portal. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna delete my phone off of that connection. And uh, there you go. So now if we go back to our router through our phone, we'll see a Google login page. That'll look kind of like this, right? It's the Google login page. It's gonna ask you to put in uh, your email password and such. So let's go ahead on my phone. Cool. So let's go ahead and go back to that IP address of 172.16.42.1, which is the address of our router. And you can see that, hey, it looks like a Google sign-in. So let's say uh, we sign into Google. We'll just say email at uh, gmail.com, right? And then the password, we'll say the password is uh, super secure. So, and then it'll say you've not been authorized, right? So you know it's basically emulating a google login page on the through the wi-fi pineapple like a dns with fan tech it's pretty cool um so now that that works we can actually view the log and see hey 
this is what we just sent out, right? This is our phone that we just had connected to it. And you'll see we have that email at gmail.com and super secure. I misspelled my password, but the point is still there that, hey, uh, it got our email and our password from our target uh, client. Um, so you can try this with not just the Google login, but with any of the other logins that we have. And feel free to save it. And yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But that's going to be it for this video. That's very basic tutorial on how to use the evil portal module on the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Um, feel free to start creating your own. I might even try to create my own because uh, I'm going to be a cool, you know, live stream or something. But hey, that's for a future video. Uh, but regardless, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, And as always, happy hacking. Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. Um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this, check out the link in the description. It's only $1, so we definitely appreciate your guys' support. Um, anyway, enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking.